Hello there, it's Mark back with a vinyl update. I know it's been a long time. This year has been full of uh, ups and downs and uh, life happens and sometimes making videos just falls off the priority list. And uh, But I hope to be able to make a few more here in the next few months to catch up on the things that I have been buying this year. I have continued to buy music and records and uh, gosh, I think it's been since Record Store Day of this year, and back in April, since I've done a video. So long overdue. So anyway, hope everybody's doing well. And uh, without further ado, everybody says that, but I figure I will too, I will get into some of the things I bought. Now, I'll do a couple videos, and this one's going to be focused on things I bought new. So they're either new releases or things I just bought new you know, that weren't used. Then I'll do another video focusing on some of the used stuff I've bought. So um, this past Friday, I did Black Friday record store shopping and just bought a few things. Didn't really buy anything new for, for Black Friday, but um, did manage to pick up some past record store day stuff for half off, including this release from Richard Bone. It's called Brave Tales on the medical record label. Early 80s synth pop. This came out originally in 83. The medical record label... Um, focuses on synth pop primarily from the 80s and some stuff from the 90s and now. But um, they did a fantastic release on this. Synth pop, um, a lot like, uh, you know, early erasure, OMD, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know much else to say about it. If you're into synth pop, check out Richard Bone. Then this release uh, got this half off from Dillinger, CB200, his 1977 album. Fantastic record. Glad to get some vinyl from Dillinger. Uh, had a lot of his stuff on CD. Um, reggae artist, uh, also known as a toaster, which is sort of re sort of a pre-rap, but for you know for reggae music. Uh, if you don't know what toasting is, look it up. You'll you'll have a good idea of what it is once you read about it. But anyway, he's one of the best, Dillinger, and this album's fantastic. CB200. Orbital, English electronic duo. If you're into, um, I don't know, Moby or uh, anything really electronic and techno from the 90s, the more melodic stuff of Aphex Twin, check out Orbital. They've been going at it since really 1989-90, and this is a release they put out, I think, last year called Buried Deeper Within, and it's a 12-inch single. Saw this band open up for King Diamond recently, Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats, an album called Wasteland. This is their most recent release, and I believe this is from 19, or no, sorry, 2018. There it is. Um, just good stoner metal rock, you know, um, real heavy. You know, if you're into things like Torch or, um, I don't know, uh, Red Fang, check out uh, Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats. Good, good heavy rock. Now, here's a band, used to be known as a punk band, and they turned in more to a post-punk band by the time this album came out in 1983. This is a reissue from this year on the Puke and Vomit label. <laughs> Originally, it came out on Cherry Red in 83. Post-punk, a lot like The Cure or Sisters of Mercy, if you're into early 80s, uh, moody, guitar-based post-punk, check out Blitz. This album's called Second Empire Justice. The song Telecommunication in particular is fantastic. I've had that on a compilation since the 80s but um, have been wanting this album for a long time. And if you want to catch up on what is going on currently in modern psych, excuse me, going on in modern psychedelia, check out this uh, compilation called The Reverb Conspiracy. It's volume six on the Fuzz Club label. Fuzz Club scours the globe to find the latest up and coming psychedelic bands from as far south as Chile to Japan, to the UK, to Germany to just all over. These are fantastic collections. Volume 6, this came out a few months back. A huge fan of Cabaret Voltaire, and they have been, uh, Mute Records has been reissuing their catalog and digging back in and issuing for the first time on vinyl things that had only come out on CD, including this release, which is early tapes they had done before their first album from 74 to 76. And if you're looking for the dance-oriented material that you might know Cabaret Voltaire for, you're not going to find it here. This is all experimental tape loops, found sound. This is back when they were a three-piece with Christopher Watson. And it's a lot more esoteric. Um, but it's still a good listen and fascinating, uh, the stuff they came up with during 74 to 76. I mean, it's just amazing. So um, I've been buying quite a few Cabri Voltaire uh, recent releases, so this is one of them. 
one of my favorite Japanese groups that is uh, one of my favorite modern psychedelic bands who happen to be Japanese is Manami Deutsch. And this is a 10-inch uh, they released on the Fuzz Club label with Damo Suzuki from Can, And they sound a lot like Can mixed with uh, heavy psychedelia. So if you're into Spaceman 3 and Krautrock, Manami Deutsch is your band. They have two albums that are phenomenally good. And this EP is recorded live. A couple albums by the Cocteau Twins, Four Calendar Cafe from 1994 and Heaven or Las Vegas from 1991 or 1990, I think. Anyway, these albums I've had on CD since they came out. Loved them forever and just never owned them on wax. So um, found them both at a decent price. Well, I found that one at a decent price. This one I paid a little bit of money for, but really wanted them. And there you go. Cocteau Twins. I'm a huge fan of them and had all their stuff on wax except for those albums. So long overdue. Here's another one I've been wanting on wax for a while. Morning Phase by Beck. Most of you know this. Won a Grammy a couple years back. And it's a fantastic early morning album. I mean, it really is mellow. You never know what you're going to get with Beck. He's, he uh, defies expectations with every release. And um, I, I love that about him. And then this album, I think, is one of his best. Morning Phase. Very mellow, chill, uh, acoustic type music. Very dreamy. A lot like the cover. Here's an album I wanted to like a little bit more, but didn't like as much as I hoped. Pink Turns Blue, they are a French goth band from the 80s, and this album came out back in 1987. It's called If Two Worlds Kiss. They have a really big following. People really seem to like them. I'll give it a few more listens, but it just didn't grab me the way I hoped it would. But if you're into late 80s goth music, guitar-oriented goth music, then check this out. This is a re-release on the Dice label that came out this year. And uh, one of my favorite bands, Ride. This is their most recent album. This is not a safe place. This came out this past summer. I saw them in Detroit. And here's um, uh, their drink menu from the show. They named, I uh, saw them at St. Andrew's Hall in Detroit. And they named uh, cocktails after Ride songs, Twisterella, Vapor, Trail, and Future Love. Um, a good album, mixed reviews from some people I know that are Ride fans. They think it's not enough shoegaze and a little too many other styles on it. Um, I kind of like that about them. They're sort of evolving. They're not just remaking Nowhere over and over and over again. So uh, give this one a chance. There's some different styles on here that are new if you are a, a fan of Ride. Now here's an album that I'm so glad that came out. The Motorcycle Boy. Boy. It's called Scarlet. Now this album originally was recorded back in 87. Was slated to come out, or might have been 88. Was slated to come out in 88, 89 on Chrysalis over in the UK and got shelved. Two singles came out from it, and neither one did all that well, so I think that's probably why. But they are good, jangly, late 80s UK guitar pop. The singer, Alex Taylor, I love her voice. She's right here. She had previously been in the band The Shop Assistants, and the other members had been in another creation band called Meet Whiplash, who were very Mary Chainish. So um, if the Primitives and Jesus and Mary Chain are, are kind of your, your vibe, Check out the Motorcycle Boy. I love them. Here's a band I caught recently here in Cleveland. The KVB, great duo out of Germany. Uh, sort of a synth, psychedelic drone duo. They, they do everything from OMD-style pop to uh, suicide-style drone. And everything in between. I really dig them. And they're great live, too, if you get a chance to check them out. This is an EP they were selling at the show called Submersion. And it also contains a remix by a band I mentioned earlier, Manami Deutsch, the band from Japan. So, uh, the KVB. They have two fantastic albums that I need to pick up on wax. I have them digitally. But um, I'll get them soon enough. Here's an album that has been talked about a lot, ba The Baby Huey Story. Now, this guy did a, this one funk soul album in 1971, I believe it was, and then died like the following year. And um, it's been a, it's, it's, it, all, it came out on the Curtin label, which was Curtis Mayfield's label. And um, just good uh, funk R&B from that era. If you're into it, then you'll probably be into this album. You probably already know about it. I'm kind of late to it. So the Baby Huey story, this is a reissue. 
One of my favorite labels is Dark Entries Records, and they are a label based out of San Francisco who deal primarily, like medical records earlier that I mentioned, in reissuing long-forgotten synth, pop, and dark wave music and post-punk from the 80s. A lot of bands that release stuff only on cassette or small-run vinyl, um, they'll go back and reissue it. And they often, too... Um, do more than just, you know, the UK and the US. They go to, you know, Germany and Italy and Greece and try and find bands from all over. And this is a collection called Tens Across the Board, which is celebrating their 10th anniversary. And it's 10 songs from 10 different countries, 10 different bands. And it's fantastic. Um, the bands hail from Italy, Slovenia, Greece, Spain, Belgium, Australia, France, Germany, the UK and the USA. That's the kind of label this is. So um, if you see anything on Dark Entries and you're into 80s new wave post-punk and uh, dark wave, synth pop, EBM, all that, check out Dark Entries. Next up is a release from 1974 from a French act called Helden. And this is uh, their self-titled debut album. And this is a reissue from a couple of years back. Been looking for this for a while. Uh, got turned on to them back in the 80s by a guy I used to work with at a record store. Old guys, a little bit older than me, and really into mid-70s progressive music. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, mostly electronic, with uh, some guitar in it, and very progressive. So if you're into things like Harmonia, um, and a lot of some of the more mellow Krautrock that's come out, um, check out Helden. Good, good, nice, dreamy, mellow stuff. Um, there you go. Now here's a find. You know, a lot of times when I watch videos... Uh, for people in the YouTube vinyl community, I get turned on to records. And uh, this is no exception. A Liverpool band called the Vril Society. And this is an album called Course of the Satellite from last year on the Delta Sonic label. Liverpudlian band, very psychedelic, uh, with a mix of synths and guitars, not unlike Tame Impala. So if you're into that band, check out the Vril Society. A guy named Rob Let the Music Play. No, Rob Walker let the music play. Go check out his channel. He buys uh, and shows a lot of uh, post-punk and new wave and um, psychedelic music. And um, this is one that he showed. And uh, did a little quick listen on it and was like, ooh, love it. So uh, when I was in Detroit going to see Ride, who I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, I stopped into Stormy Records in Detroit. And that is a shop run by this duo, Wendy and Carl. And this is their album, We Will Always Be. Very ambient guitar music, instrumental, high, mostly instrumental. Dreamy, um, long guitar soundscapes is probably the best way to describe them. And I was really into them back in the 90s and kind of lost track of them. But um, when I was in their store, I had to pick up one of their albums. Didn't have this one. And then here's a producer named Kurt Betcher. And uh, he's from the late 60s. And this is a collection that just recently came out on uh, Columbia Records, collecting um, singles that he was either involved with uh, as a band member or just simply produced. But all of his stuff has a similar sound to it, very poppy, very um, a lot of focus on vocals. Um, think Beach Boys and the way that they would stack vocals. That's what this guy's into. Um, if you're into things like free design, definitely check out Kurt Betcher if you haven't already. He uh, had a band in the mid late 60s called The Millennium, and they have an album called Begin, which is fantastic. And then he got together with uh, Beach Boys producer Gary Usher, and they recorded an album under the name Sagittarius together called Present Tense, and that's equally good. So this is just a really good um, sort of introduction to his work, if you're unfamiliar with him, and it comes with a nice booklet which sort of gives you a little bit of insight into the man and everything he was involved with. And now I made some uh, finds from Deep Discount. Went on to their website and uh, found quite a few things for a really good price. So uh, one of them was Westbound Disco, collecting a bunch of disco 12 inches from the late 1970s and very early 1980s. And uh, there you go. It's uh, four sides and two songs each. Great stuff there on the uh, Westbound label. A Certain Ratio, one of my favorite post-punk bands from the late uh, 1970s and 80s and 90s. And this is an album they did in 2008 called Mind Made Up. And it's a good mix of funk, synth pop, post-punk, and indie music. So if you're into any of that or, or some of that, check out A Certain Ratio. A uh, really fantastic group. 
And then this is a label called Loma from the 1960s. Released a lot of obscure soul sides over here in the U.S. And this is uh, volume three of a series that collects uh, just various 45s released on the Soma or Loma label. <laughs> and this one's called Sad, Sad Feeling, 1964 to 68. So it, it focuses primarily on the ballads and the more uh, broken-hearted torch songs that were released on the label, Loma. Comet Gain, UK band from the mid-1990s uh, through uh, up to now. They're still active today. Uh, kind of arrived in the Britpop era, very uh, British indie sound from the late night or mid-1990s. Um, so, sort of like The Fall. If you're into The Fall's more melodic music, check out Comet Gain. Good jangly pop. And here's a duo out of Germany, 39 Clocks. If you're into Suicide and Mary Chain, check these guys out. This is an album they did called Subnarcotic, and uh, this is a re-release. Um, and I think this originally came out in the 1980s, but I don't have that information at my fingertips right now. But check them out. Then if you're into mid-70s R&B and funk and soul, check out the Jimmy Castor Bunch. The album's called It's Just Begun, and it's led by that track. And you've probably heard it sampled in different hip-hop songs. It's fantastic funk from the mid-1970s, and um, if you're into that, do yourself a favor on YouTube. It's just begun. This is a reissue on red vinyl on the RCA label. The Jimmy Castor Bunch. Now, in my last video, one of the Records for Day releases I could not find was this Chapter House album, Whirlpool, the original recordings. Well, I did find a copy of it not too long after making that video. And uh, this sounds fantastic. Really sounds great. Not too unlike the original Whirlpool album. So I'm not sure what the difference is, if any. I need to really A-B the two of them. But every time I listen to this, it sounds pretty much the way I remember it sounding. Chapter House, one of the original shoegaze bands from the early 1990s, along with Slow Dive and um, Ride. And uh, they only did two albums. They did Whirlpool in 91 and then another called Blood Music in 93. Uh, but a great, great band. Speaking of shoegaze, um, got this one also from the Deep Discount. This is the history of color TV and uh, just good dreamy shoegaze noisy pop. And this is an album called Emerald Cures Chic Chill, Chic Ills. Hmm, interesting title there. So check them out if you're into shoegaze. Here's an album I've been wanting for a long time on vinyl, Playing With Fire by Spaceman 3. This came out in the late 1980s, and I picked up this issue on orange vinyl. And uh, good, good introduction to the band if you're not into them before. It includes some of their more aggressive tracks like Revolution, and then some of their more sort of subdued tracks like um, How Does It Feel. Of course, Jason Pierce went on to form Spiritualized, Sonic Boom recorded under his own nam name, as well as under the name Spectrum. And I believe this middle guy, is it Will Carruthers? Yeah, formed uh, The Dark Side, another fantastic band from the early 1990s. And it's, it's keeping in that psychedelic vein, The New Candies out of Italy. This is an album they released on Fuzz Club. Here comes that label again. From 2015, it's called New Candies as Medicine. I saw them when they came through town recently and um, really got into them. If you're into Mary Chain or Spaceman 3 or the Black Angels, check out New Candies. Really good. Even Dandy Warhols. They remind me a little of Dandy Warhols. And then caught up with this band, Kasabian. Really was into some of their early stuff, but kind of lost track of them for a while. And this is an album they did a couple years back for Crying Out Loud. Fantastic Britpop type sound. Um, great choruses. A lot of uh, kind of an anthematic style. And... Um, not too much else to say about it. If you like Kasabian or, or are into British pop, check them out. A few more to show. The Fall, reissue of their first album, Live at the Witch Trials. Fantastic band. Drastic Season. This is from African Head Charge. Producer Adrian Sherwood's side project from the mid-1980s. I think this actually came out in the early 80s. Collecting a lot of found sound, African rhythms, um, some dub influence as well, electronica. It's all over the place, and this originally came out on his On You Sound label. This is a reissue. 
jangly band from California, the Mystic Braves, if you're into the Ala Las or um, Donald and the Birds, that Southern California sound, check them out. Um, I don't know, they're really, really good. I saw them uh, last summer and was, was quite into them. Uh, what else did I get here? James Brown of the Famous Flames. This album collects some of his early sides for the King label in the mid-1960s. Then Torch, fantastic band Torch. Look at that glare. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a mirror. So Torch, this is their album Admission, just came out a few months back. And I got a pre-release of the album, which comes on Splatter Vinyl. And they're on the Relapse label, uh, kind of heavy rock with some psychedelic and shoegaze elements in there. Fantastic live act. If you're into heavy rock music and you want to see a solid live act, Look no further than Torch. They'll, they'll, they'll get you going. And then two more here. Boy Harsher. They're a dark wave synth act from the last 10 years. This is, I believe, their first release. Been expanded. It's called Lesser Man. Dark electronic synth music. Best way to describe them. And then if you're looking to get into reggae, don't really have any reggae and don't know where to start, check out Jimmy Cliff, The Harder They Come. This album is a collection of songs from a movie. And contains the title track, The Harder They Come, along with You Can Get It If You Really Want It. And as well as Pressure Drop, that's another good one. Draw, the, Draw Your Breaks is great. Many Rivers to Cross. So many great songs on this. This is a solid record front to back. The Harder They Come from Jimmy Cliff. And uh, other artists as well. Desmond Decker's on here, The Maytals. Really good stuff. So there you go. I managed to uh, squeeze out quite a few releases here. So uh, that's what I picked up as far as new releases go. I'll do another video showing some used releases that I found over the last um, eight, nine months and give you a look at those as well. Hope everybody is doing well and keep that vinyl spinning. See you soon.